All right, President Trump is awake and on Twitter this morning, and he's not focusing on any of the latest scandals encompassing the White House, but rather on former Vice President Joe Biden, and then we have another one. But let's keep in mind, we have a couple of big questions here that are closing in on this president, whether or not he will fire Bob Mueller, Republicans stepping up and saying he better not, and they're even using the word impeachment when it comes to that. And still, those in the intelligence community and those high up in the administration are concerned that he may do this. And there are many Democrats who are very concerned he will do this. And of course, there are the questions about his relationship with the attorney general, whether he understands that the attorney general does not work Work for him as his lawyer and that the attorney general works for the United States of America and then there are the legal questions mounting from women against this president women who claim they had consensual affairs with the president but then were silenced by contracts that lawyers may have threatened them into or that lawyers may have threatened their silence or stooges for the president or the president himself may or may not have threatened these women in some way those are the big questions hanging over this president of course getting ready this Sunday for the big interview with former porn star Stormy Daniels on 60 Minutes. Uh, the president's team really doesn't want that interview to air. Uh, and the attorney for Stormy Daniels says there is credible evidence of threats and of the relationship. So we'll be looking forward to that. And you know the president is. And as he's dealing with these questions, he's tweeting this now. Just moments ago, the president tweeted, Remember when they were saying during the campaign that Donald Trump is giving great speeches and drawing big crowds, but he's spending much less money and not using social media, as well as Crooked Hillary's large and highly sophisticated staff? Well, not saying that anymore. Um, hold on a second. I'm just curious. Does anyone know what that means exactly? And why would he be thinking about this? I haven't introduced our guests yet, but Bob Costa is raising his hand. What does that mean? <laughs> What's he thinking about at 7 o'clock in the morning or 6.55 tweeting that? Asking White House officials about this, they say as all these things you've listed continue to mount, all the challenges, the problems, legal, political, he is going to continue to turn to campaign mode, have rallies, fight uh, Vice, Vice President Biden, Vice Senator Warren. Right. He wants to be out there in this kind of populist, raging way, fighting for his own political so future. So that, uh, that actually is a great point, given the fact that Joe Biden had some really strong words about beating up the president when he was in high school. I would urge all Democrats to sit back and let the story play out. Don't say things like that. It's not going to help you at this point. At this point, the story speaks for itself. Look at this. The tweet earlier this morning, I think it was about <clears throat> 620 in the morning. The president wakes up. He's in the uh, private residence in the White House, you would think. He's on his phone. He's watching Fox News, maybe some Morning Joe. And he tweets this. Crazy Joe Biden is trying to act like a tough guy. Actually, he's weak, both mentally and physically. And yet he threatens me for the second time with physical assault. He doesn't know me. But he would go down fast and hard, crying all the way. Don't threaten people, Joe. And that's what a lot of people would say, including Stormy Daniels. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube. And make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. And you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.